Hi, Facebook. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Wisdom Friday. Bienvenidos a todos. I'm still waiting for YouTube to connect here. I'm not sure what is going on here, but um, we are live on Facebook now. Um, I'm not sure why this is not working here. Hi, everyone. Give me one second. Hi, Stephanie. I'm trying to connect over here on YouTube and it's just going around in a circle. I'm not sure what's happening. Give me one second. Let me ref refresh here. All right. All right. I guess I will just be doing. Um, I'll just be doing Facebook today. It looks like, which is totally fine. I'll up. I'll upload it on YouTube after. So. Hello. Now I get to have this a little closer. I'm so excited about today's topic um, and speaking more about our magnificence and the release from fear. Um, so I would just, but I just wanted to go ahead right now and just tune in and close our eyes as if you can, if you're driving, please don't. <laughs> Just um, kind of feel into it more than um, have your eyes closed, but let's go ahead, if you can, close your eyes and let's just take a deep breath here. As we tune in and let go of anything that is in our way, any barrier that's in our way of our true success, which is peace of mind and happiness in our minds and in our hearts. We give over this life to spirit as it speaks in and through us. Whatever needs to be said will be said and anything that needs to be exposed will be exposed for the benefit and healing of our minds together in this space. We're so grateful and thankful for this time together to come back to our truth, to come back into our power and to step more into the light. As we open our eyes and just declare that, um, I love that song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And that's what we're here to do is to really let that light shine and step into our our power and our truth. And I have been away for two weeks. I do these lives every Friday, usually at 10 p.m. Pacific. And I've been traveling. I've been in Miami speaking. I had about four speaking events there, a few workshops. And then I was in Boston for the Course in Miracles conference, which was amazing. Um, I was traveling with my family, so it was really nice to enjoy my career, my, my career as working for God with my family, with Ari and Christian. It was a true blessing to, um, to be there with them and experience um, my work with them. And now I'm back and I decided I want to continue to do these lives and continue to connect with you all. And I'm happy that you're joining me. I see that there's a few of you coming in now. And today's topic is basically letting go of the fear so that we can live our magnificence. Letting go of the fear so we can live in our magnificence. And this topic is actually came from Joni. Um, she's one of, um, she's part of our happy movement. She's part of my happiness community. And um, she texted me this two weeks ago while I was in Miami, when I was planning on going live and I didn't. And she wrote to me and I said, well, can you please clarify a little bit of what you mean? And she says, well, you know how we have fear of success. And um, she brought up Marianne Williamson's quote that we are more afraid of our light than than um, our dark, the darkness and all these conversations that we have of like, who am I to think I can do this? Or who am I to think that I can have this job? Or who am I to think that um, I can have money, <laughs> tons of money in the bank? Or who am I to think of that I can have an epic, epic relationship, right? So 
it's that's what we're going to kind of um, come into today. And I feel it's such a powerful topic um, because I feel that we are so worthy and God's will for us or universe's will for us or love's will for us is for us to live in our magnificence and to truly step into that arena that arena that we step into and we shine our light powerfully through <laughs> appears our eyes our ears our mouth and just like blaze the sunlight into the world and that is so scary but the fear is not so much the the the, the fear is not so much an external thing the fear is not so much um that we are so scared you know the true fear the deep down fear and the course would say this the course of miracles the spiritual text of course of miracles would say that our biggest fear is really um our our separation from god you know and then within that separation from god has been created this egoic thought system in our minds and that's where the fear stems from the egoic thought system and there's this beautiful um verse in the course of miracles that says and this is when you tap into god's power that says when this power has been experienced right the power within the love of god it is impossible impossible to trust one's own petty strength again one's own petty strength again who would attempt to fly with this tiny wings of a sparrow when the mighty power of an eagle has been given him right so we've been given the mighty power of the eagle right and who would place his faith on the shabby offerings right we place our faith on shabby offerings guys on we place our faith on our littleness we place our faith in our limited thinking we place our faith in believing that we're not enough and we place our faith mainly in our fear and what the, what is the saying here is shabby offerings of the eagle when the gifts of God are laid before us so we need to start to begin to trust and put our power in our true self in our higher self hi Tanya I'm feeling that honey I'm feeling the love too I feel your love and when we tap into that power of our true self with a capital S, not the small self, the, the big capital S, when we be begin to trust our true self, we start denying and letting go of placing our attention on shabby offerings, on our littleness, and placing our faith in our scarcity and our fear. And I could only speak from my experience, but I began to speak to really live in my magnificence and in my true power as a speaker, as a mother, um, as, as, as a teacher of God, um, as a soul in this experience, this realm that we're in, when I began to no longer compromise, when I began to start to really understand at another level that my thoughts, and this is what the Course in Miracles is teaching us, that our thoughts create our experience so what am i thinking what the fuck am i thinking right what thoughts am i am i cultivating in my mind in regards to each situation so i began to evaluate areas in my life i began to evaluate what thoughts i had around me as a speaker what thoughts i had around me being a mother what thoughts i had in regards to my relationship with christian and constantly be an observer of the thoughts that I am giving juice to. What thoughts am I igniting? And that's how we start to step into our magnificence is when we start to change these thoughts and start to pump up the volume. Remember that song, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, pump up the volume, dance, dance, right? It's like when we start to pump up the volume on that voice of spirit in our minds, we start to just explode and we step into that arena of our greatness and the time has come. So what we do this is in our everyday thinking. And we need to start to realize what is success really. That's how we start to live our magnificence is what is our goal here? Because it says we're fear of success. Well, what is success? For me, when you know what success is, it has absolutely nothing to do with the world of form and everything to do with my internal well-being. 
When I am successful is when I am happy and at peace, regardless of what's going on in my, in my world of form, regardless if something is working for me or not. So that is success for me. I am being, I am walking in my success when a certain letter comes to me. Like for instance, I just got a letter um, that my rent is going to be hired. Um, is they're going to hire my rent. And what I did was, is that my success for me is not letting that letter take away my peace because I am bigger than that. I am more solid than that. You know, how can I let a piece of paper that has a few numbers disturb my peace of mind? So I am successful in the fact that that, that, um, that letter has no vibration overtake over me and how I'm feeling. So it just, it just dissipates right? So these little things that happen in our life or these apparent big things that happen in our life, we are successful when we keep our peace and our happiness regardless of what's going on in form. But now let's talk about success in form because we are in a body, it appears like, and it appears that we want things and it appears that we want to create things and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I love to create. I love, I just, you know, um, basically, you know, produce my own audiobook or, you know, um, I've, I've, I'm, I'm creating new speaking opportunities for myself, um, and all these things. So within that of me creating, um, what I do is, is that I honor that because why do I have this in my heart? So I always say, I feel that God has placed this purpose in my heart and all I need to do is give it over. And giving it over to God and giving it over to the Holy Spirit to use it as its function is what I want. So the success in the worldly sense is beautiful and there's nothing to feel guilty about. Actually, God doesn't want us to feel guilty. I feel as course students, we don't want to create, so we don't, we, we feel guilty for creating in form. But the call is, is that, well, I, I, I would love to create this in form. But the important thing is to give it over, give it over to our true self to our higher self. And if this project is in alignment to that love, if it's, if it's in alignment to the expansion of love in your mind, because there's, there's a call of the heart if it's, if it's in your heart that you want to do it. And it's all for the healing. Everything's always working for you. Stephanie says, I am not my circumstances. And that's true. We are not our circumstances. And Tanya says, questioning myself, Yes, questioning myself has been so healing. And I feel like questioning ourselves is important because when we question ourselves, we are asking ourselves, what are we thinking? And our th what are our thoughts about these circumstances or what's going on? So I'll go on to read here. I'm reading this from a little thing that an inspiration that came to me from Pathways of Light today. And it says, our true self does not believe we are separate from our creator. So to be in our magnificence, we need to be more in our true self. So it says our true self does not believe we're separate from our creator. It remembers we are love. All that is real is that love. With the strength and power of God in us, there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. God is invincible, so is our true self. No harm can come to what God created changeless as himself. So are you are you listening to these words? So basically our magnificence is in our strength in our true self. And our true self with a capital S is that self that is cre is connected to the bigness of us. Basically the power of the union of the universe of love. That is our true self. But we function more in our part that is our little self. And the way that we live our magnific magnificence is to begin to change our thoughts about ourselves because our thoughts give us our experiences. Our beliefs give us our experiences. So if we start to change our thoughts around any circumstance that's aligned more to truth, then we are free. And third, first, you have to get really honest about what those thoughts are, right? So for instance, today, in regards to the hiring of my rent, um, I had a lot of thoughts around it and I sat with them. Right. So I was like, OK, what is it that's kind of taking me off away from my peace with this letter? So first of all, it was, you know, why? Why are they hiring the rent? They already hired it last year and before the years they didn't really hire it. Um, what bastards they are. Like they're making so much money and they're putting it on us, the tenants. <laughs> that was another one. Um, another one was. Um, are, are they raising my rent because I asked them to change my windows in my apartment? Like, is that why they're doing it? And, um, 
all these like silly thoughts, right? So we just need to get really honest about what these thoughts are. And I started laughing at them and I tuned into spirit and this is what we need to do. We all have the voice of spirit within us. We all have that intuitive voice and we just need to ask. And what does it sound like? Well, for me, it sounds like me. <laughs> but I just know that it's not my my separated self because of the way that the, 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 um, the message comes through. It's so beautiful. It's so gentle. It's so, um, how do I say this, helpful. So I close my eyes and what I get is to love them, to bless them. Uh, and that's so opposite of what my ego would say because my ego would want to attack them and want to be right. But I was like, bless them? And I was like, wow, that makes sense because if there's just a mirror and I'm blessing them, then I'm actually healing because I'm no longer projecting my guilt onto my brothers and sisters. So here we go. So it's, um, I bless the person that sent me the letter of the rent inc increase, right? Um, I bless the owner of the buildings, all these buildings he has. Wow, that's such a responsibility, right? Um, but my ego would say, what the fuck? He has so much money. <laughs> like, he's such a dick. <laughs> so, but I have to stop myself. So this is how we come into our magnificence. Is like, I bless him and I ask Holy Spirit for a change of perception of whatever I'm thinking about these people. And I start to bless the office. And then I got the, the very strong insight that I would write a letter and talk about this. Um, and that it was very clear that I had to write this letter to the company. And I was also um, guided to, to not think about it anymore and to um, just have fun with my life today. So that's how we work it, guys. We start to have very, very vigilant of our thoughts and to, to turn them around um, for the higher good and what serves you more. What happens is, is that a peace came over me. A peace came over me of where I saw it another way. I also got that these experiences that seem to bother us are actually working for us. These experiences of, of letters that we get, such as the letter I got, are actually working for us. It's actually helping us wake up more to God. It was so funny because I was like, this letter that I feel is a hindrance or bothering me is giving me the opportunity to undo the egoic thought system more in my mind. Right? It's, that's, that's how I saw it. It was like, this letter serving me so that I can practice letting go of the egoic thought system in my mind. Like, this is literally serving me. Isn't that, uh, that's just such a radical way of thinking. So anytime that we come into a problem, because the only problem is a perceptual problem, right? Whenever we have any type of problem that we have that is hindering our peace, we just say, wow, thank you for this opportunity. Because this lack of peace that I'm having right now, this lack of separ this separation I'm feeling right now from my source, this this um, disease feeling or this stressful feeling, this anxiety feeling, you know, my rent has gone up. Um, I'm, I've just lost a partner or somebody's just broken up with me. Somebody has just cheating on me. I'm, I have a food disorder, whatever that is, right? It's working for you. What I got from spirit this morning is like all these things are just symbols for us to awaken more to our true self, to use it. It's kind of like going to the gym. It's like to use it as an instrument to wake up more to God in our minds, to let go more of the egoic thought system in our mind. It's, it's actually helping us. And you can't put a price on that. It's like invaluable. So that seven to two dollars a month rent raise, which which it looks like likely will happen or not. It's, it's helping me get closer to my source. So I see it like a hindrance, like it's doing something to me, but it's the opposite. It's working for me. This is how we start to live in our magnificence when we start to change our perception of what really, really, really is true here. I go on to say trust comes to us as we accept our true self. So we need to start to trust in, in that part of our mind that is still that is connected to God and, and that space that we've never left. And then it says here, trust comes to us as we accept our true self as our identity and disown the false identity made by the ego. So the way we live in our, uh, in our magnificence is to start to let go of that false identity that we have made of the ego. And we do that simply by asking spirit's help to let go of that identity. And we let go of that identity of when we find ourselves in a critical circumstance or situation. And we, we, we realize that we're not victims of that. That it's just an experience that we've created in our realm, in our sphere, sphere in our vortex, so that 
we're just reminded of what is the truth. So instead of being a victim of it, it's like celebrating. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you for this obstacle. You know, th thank you. <laughs> thank you for what's for this opportunity. You know, it's be excited about what appears to be such a caca situation, you know, that it's working for you. It says here, in truth, we walk with God. So in truth, we walk with God. In truth, we walk with love. Sharing all his love, his strength, his peace and joy. We will, we will remind ourselves often of this today. So I invite you to remind yourself of this often today. That you are not your egoic thought system. I know I say that I've been saying this lately. We are egoholics. And we need to recognize that, that we are in this in this world of separation and that we have a divine sponsor and that sponsor is the holy spirit within our minds is our higher wisdom is our true self and we need to tap tap into that sponsor for help daily so let's remember that today as we step into this sphere of this world and apparently we're gonna problems are gonna come up and we step into our magnificence into our, into our arena when we say no more I'm not going to let this take away my attention. I'm not going to let this take away my peace. I'm going to remember what is true here. The power of the divine. The power of God. So I invite you to take this into your hearts today. And I leave you with this. When we perceive the world as a body. So as we perceive ourselves as a body or other people as bodies. There are my rate of reasons to feel unsafe. There are so many reasons to feel unsafe, to feel weak, to feel vulnerable. But this perception comes from believing illusions are real and that we're separate from our only real source and strength, which is our creator. And our creator is so loving, right? The correction of this misperception comes with accepting our true self's vision. So the time has come to have a vision of our true self with a capital S. And to start to dissipate this vision, let go of this vision of our little self. So we step into our magnificence as we start to understand that we don't need to feel unsafe, weak, and vulnerable anymore. Because now we know our true power. And our true power lies in having responsibility. And knowing that we, our experience is our thoughts. Our experience is our thoughts. So where, where is the cause? Where is it that we need to do the work? Here. Here. And it's not even here. It's everywhere with all these myriad of thoughts that we have. So let's start to look at these thoughts, get really honest about these thoughts and say, hey, no more, no more bullshit. No more limited thinking. No more thinking I'm little, like I am done. And really facing these thoughts and saying, ya basta, no mas. And start to come into that power, your true self with a capital S and step into that arena and shine your glory, baby. Shine your glory because the time has come. The time has come for us to live our happy and the time has come for us to step into that arena and live the happiness that is our inheritance and is our function. All right, everyone, I, I invite you to join this day to really, really step it up a notch and to live our happiness, which is our inheritance. I'll see you guys next week. Real quick, if you got any benefit or value from this live, I invite you to make a donation at mariafelipe.org slash donate. There's also a free sample of my audiobook at mariafelipe.org slash audiobook. And I have my happiness tune-in class that is happening on Tuesday, and it's free. So, Stephanie, if you can put um, that link on the, the live, that would be great. I'll leave you with this. Gordy Bermuda says, the mind is so powerful. And that is so true. The, our, our mind, which is our thoughts, are super powerful and gives us our experience. So start to be very vigilant about the thoughts that you're having because you're creating your experience at every moment with whatever thoughts you're cultivating in your mind. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time.